Well, there we go. Stunning and brave. Um, we're going to skip the next episode in uh, the season, which is where my country gone. The basic context to this is um, Garrison uh, continues on with his um, not campaign for president, but, you know, as a clear rip on Trump, uh, brings along, uh, you know, starts to partner with uh, Caitlyn Jenner. And we start to finally see her um, in the episodes. Um, you know, the idea is, you know, it's an anti-immigration um, episode where um, trying to stop immigrants from Canada and uh, goes up there to stop them to find out they've already built a wall uh, to keep Americans out, um, you know. So anyways, it's just a little bit about it. So it does get, it does get into some stuff, but it's a clear lampoon of, um, of Trumpito, overlord Trumpito. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to move on to, um, we gotta, we're going to watch the, sh- the shitty or city part of town uh, and get introduced to uh, gentrification in South Park. So they really start to get into this. And so I have to ask, you know, what is gentrification? Again, this is like a, f- a term that fluctuates in meaning in terms of what does it mean to, to some people. For some people, the process of gentrification, um, you know, which is, can be th- framed as urban renewal, is considered a good thing. Um, you're taking what you view as a rundown part of a town or a city, and you're polishing it up, you're cleaning it up, and you're making it nicer, you're making it more valuable, um, etc. Now, that's cool. Um, now, for some people, that there, that's a very, a very negative uh, harm on that, in that um, when you choose these neighborhoods that are usually, um, you know, people who live there are often working class, working poor, people who often live in neighborhoods or areas that get, get gentrified are also racial and ethnic um, uh, minorities who have long lived in those n- neighborhoods historically, who also then get displaced, um, whether it be they actually get like physically moved and and or um, they're displaced through um, you know uh, financial racism, um, um, where you know uh, they're priced out of the out of the area essentially and not unable to live there. Um, um, but anyway, so. If we think about what is gentrification, right? It's basically changing a neighborhood, revamping a neighborhood to bring in a more a richer, more affluent uh, population. Um, and this often uh, displaces the residents who seek more affordable places to live. Places to live. Again, like I said, this is ultimately impacting, um, having a, a negative impact on the people who live there, who often, um, you know, uh, working class racial ethnic minorities. Uh, typically those are the neighborhoods that are, are, um, are targeted for these sorts of, uh, of things, okay? Again, depending on who you are, where you are in the process, if you're the one doing the gentrification or you're the one being gentrified, you may think of this as positive or negative. And in fact, if your neighborhood's being gentrified, you may think of it as positive. Um, there may be more economic opportunity for you, more jobs, but often, what ends up happening is that the community who gets gentrified often do not get to partake in the financial success of that um, area. So there's a lot of economic displacement, meaning that the people who have traditionally lived there can no longer afford to live there. I mean, let's go to fucking Brooklyn. Holy shit, man. Um, gentri- gentrified like a motherfucker. Uh, Harlem. Oh, man, like in the 90s. You, you, you did not go to Harlem. You just did not go to Harlem. Now it's like boutique pickle shops and hot yoga shits and dudes riding unicycles and shit. This is bizarre, okay? But fully gentrified, um, you know. Um, but yeah, economic infrastructure development, um, you know, and the eventual hipster invasion <laughs> that's inevitable. Um, you know, people from outside of that area or outside of that city who come there, often young white people. Um, it just kind of is what it is. I mean, you, if you've lived in Portland or been to Portland, you can see that on blast. 
And um, just think about how we see this in, in South Park. And what we're going to see is that the, the, the shitty part of town is where Kenny lives. He's literally, his family's the only poor people in town. That's like the running joke in South Park. <laughs> okay. And so they uh, gentrify a neighborhood all around uh, his, his home. Okay, so we're going to watch the uh, city part of town, a.k.a. the shitty part of town, if you think in the accent of Tong Lu Kim. Um, basically, the whole idea here is, is you know, um, Randy gets motivated because they're making fun of South Park for being ignorant. Um, and he gets motivated um, to show that South Park is not intolerant. And the, way, the best way to do this in his mind is to get a Whole Foods which becomes a symbol of, of um, gentrification. The interesting, the interesting thing, why I really liked this, this season, was as this was developing, literally they were building all these apartments downtown in Eugene, and they were building a Whole Foods. So all these like more boutique you know, type apartments around and, and a Whole Foods. Uh, in downtown Eugene, which had been pretty, pretty rough, pretty haggard, so to speak, um, for a while. Okay, so, um, so, anyways, yeah, they gentrify Kenny's house, and that's kind of the that's kind of the gag. Um, and so, just think about what Randy's idea is that getting a, uh, a Whole Foods will validate that South Park is um, is a tolerant, accepting, good place with good people, not a bunch of ignorant. Um, you know, small town, small minded white people. Okay. Um, when we see this, like, how can we see this as a lampooning of gentrification, the process of gentrification, and um, people who bring that, it brings all classes together. And you'll see this in an example where they have a, a town hall meeting with everybody who lives in the, the uh, uh, Kenny's part of town, which is Kenny's uh, family. And Randy and uh, Kenny's dad have a, a, little a little back and forth about their houses and all that. So a lot of people claim, you know, um, when they're advocating or trying to get permits or whatever to develop certain neighborhoods that it will bring people of different classes, it will create a more diverse society by bringing people together, which necessarily doesn't, doesn't happen, okay? Um, when we watch this, um, think about, you know, does it help or hurt the local economy and um, specifically Shitty Walk? Um, you know, like what happens with Tong Lu Kim, you know, and his business in that part of in that part of town? So, how does gentrification actually help the local uh, the local community? Okay, um, um, so I think that's just uh, something to really really think about when when, when you watch this, like. The advocation is that gentrification or urban renewal will improve the economic viability of a neighborhood, but for who, you know? And, and how do we see the positive and negative effects of gentrification um, in, in, in this episode? How do they talk about it? How do they show it? How do they exemplify it? So, yeah, the villas at Kenny's house, welcome to Soda Sopa. You know, they come up with this name and all these cool restaurants. They have all the funny ads and the apartments you can live in Soda Sopa. So really selling this and selling the idea of this part of town to get a Whole Foods um, in town, which will be the beacon of political correctness, the beacon of acceptance, um, and it represents the beacon of gentrification in the episodes. <laughs> So as we watch this, think about how the Whole Foods represents this symbol of political correctness and gentrification. How does it, how does it show that? And just think about what a Whole Foods is. Obviously, we, we know Amazon owns Whole Foods. And how, you know, again, like Whole Foods comes into these, you know, goes to a part of town that may be like a food desert or, a, you know, a, a, a place where it's not easy to get overpriced um, organic organic food so how does yeah whole foods sort of represent uh, political correctness in a way and gentrification in a stronger way when we watch this episode 